Hi, welcome to the another video on Arduino Mage Android. In this video, we're going to create a app for controlling a servo motor. So first, we'll start with a new project. Name it as a single servo control. And okay. So as usual, we have to pick a list picker and place there. Change the width to fill parent and change the name to Bluetooth and uh, label to identify whether we are connected or not make it center and for this uh, we're going to create a only one slider is enough because we're going to control only one servo motor so i'm gonna pick a layout a table arrangement and drop it there this is we are not going to use this layout this is just for uh, placing, uh, placing a gap between our bluetooth and uh, slider and I'm going to change the thumb position minimum to 0 and minimum value to 0 and maximum value to 180. If you want, you can also change the color of this. And uh, that's it. I need a connectivity. So I need a Bluetooth client. Place it. And as usual, we need a clock sensor. So the app is over. So as usual, uh, like we did it in the last project, I'm going to use the same code for same block for this app. So I'm gonna go for my hello world. And save my blocks to the bag. So that's it and we'll move to our new project. Open the bag and place our codes. So only one thing we have to do for here is when you click on the slider, when you change your slider position and what it has to do in just pick this one and uh, get go to your Bluetooth send a uh, one byte number and your slider thumb position go to math and pick round because we need to round the value before sending and go to slider and pick slider one thumb position so that's it we have completed our app to control the servo motor so here the top view the uh, servo motor is not visible So here you can see that the another cam I have connected a servo motor to my Arduino. Here is the circuit diagram for this. As usual, the same Bluetooth uh, connection as follows. And the servo motor I have connected to the ninth pin and the positive pin that is uh, make sure that uh, if you have a different servos and check with your manufacturer guide on which wire has to go for a positive and which wire has to go for a negative and I have a yellow wire that is for signal sending a signal pulse to my servo motor I have connected that to the, my 9th pin of Arduino this is the circuit diagram we'll go and check our program so here's the program I've used my servo motor and I was I already said that I have attached to the ninth pin, so the my server was attached to the ninth pin, and whatever the bytes that is received from my Android mobile will be applied to the server position. So based upon the mo movement of the slider, we can 
uh, position our servo motor. I'm going to connect this app with the help of a companion. Connected AI companion. I also connected an external power for my Arduino because the servos uh, eat a lot of power. So make sure that you are supplying external power when you are using servo with your Arduino. I'm going to upload this program. Select everything is perfect. I'm going to upload it. Program is getting uploaded. I'm trying to connect to my Bluetooth device. It is saying that error 507 unable to connect is the device turned on. This is the error I'm getting right now. If you are getting this error, just try to connect it again. If you are getting this error for a continuous time, just do one thing. Just unplug and plug your VCC from your Bluetooth to your Arduino that we have connected. Now I am going to connect it again. So it is connected now. So once you rem uh, uh, stop the power to your Bluetooth, it actually resets so you can connect it again. I think you can see the cam is not uh, capturing that. So it is moving, but the cam is not capturing it on real time. So on the other cam window, I think you can see that it's actually moving. So I need to do one thing for here. I'll change the width to fill pattern. Okay. So once again, I'm trying to connect to my Bluetooth device after resetting my app. So let's see whether it is connecting or not. So it is connected. And let's check once again. So the moment you can see on this cam, it is it is not actually capturing it on real time. But uh, movement is happening on my servo. It's actually, I'm moving fast that can see on the cam window that okay uh, when you are getting the error uh, please make sure that you are uh, unplugging the VCC that is we are connecting from the Arduino to the Bluetooth uh, unplug and just uh, replug it so that this will actually reset our uh, Bluetooth and which will allow us to connect to our uh, Bluetooth again so we'll once again, check on our serial monitor to whether we are receiving data from our Bluetooth device. So here, so here you can see that whenever I change the position of my slider in my app, I'm getting the values. So this is the reason I'm connecting the uh, Bluetooth to my 10th and 11th pin instead of TX and RX pin of Arduino. So I can use my uh, Arduino ID serial monitor to check whether I'm receiving any data from my Arduino de uh, Android device or not. So 
please make sure you are also doing the same so that you don't get confused when you are working on your project so that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching